girl is Lachelle and I am back with another video so as you can see from the title I'm gonna be showing you how to create web banners but more than creating web banners I'm really gonna be showing you guys how to fake a photo shoot so um, I came up with this idea because I, I do this often but there are quite a few of my clients who I design websites for and a lot of times where people struggle is with having a photo shoot because a lot of times people just don't know how to plan one, how to find a photographer, how to shoot, all that kind of stuff. They just don't know the ins and outs of planning a photo shoot. And so that's where a lot of people are lacking. They're lacking in their pictures. But what a lot of people do have access to are, they have access to stock photos from their vendors. Now this is, um, I'm particularly talking about people who sell hair and also people who sell clothing and things like that. A lot of times if you sell clothes, particularly if you go on websites like um, LA show, Showroom or things like that, like they have tons of stock photos on there of their models and their professional pictures but a lot of times they're just pretty standard. So let me just get into what I'm talking about. So what I did firstly, because there's different types of shots when it comes to your photography. You're gonna have your landscape shots, which are width-wise, which are like your, um, your large banners. Then you have your product photography, which is normally gonna be like a portrait, like straight up and down. And then you can also do some square photos. So what I'm gonna do here is what you can do is go into create, click on create design and then click on Instagram story. That gives you good dimensions for product photography, like straight up and down if you had a model standing. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I've already created that. I've created a page that is in story view. Now, the way you're going to finesse a photo shoot is by taking a stock photo of your model, you're going to upload it into Canva, and then we're going to utilize Canva to uh, come up with like a photo shoot type of setting. So let me show you what I mean. So this particular picture was not a photo shoot. This model was not on set. This is a stock picture. All of these photos are stock pictures, but I finessed it so let me show you what I did first so number one determine what setting you want your models in because my models were in bikinis I decided to do a beach photo shoot spring break is coming up so that's going to be the theme of the the banners that I create and the photo shoot that I'm fake doing okay so I brought my pictures into Canva let's go to elements and let's go ahead and click on and type in what I want. So in this case, I typed in um, beach sunset. And then I filtered by photos because I only want photos. Now I have Canva Pro. I always say that. I always suggest you get Canva Pro. It's You get a lot with it, including access to some really high quality pictures um, and shots. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can always filter out up here and click on free and then apply the filter and then you will get access to the free photos okay in this particular instance I found some uh, ones that were pro that I really liked so that's what I'm going to use so for example uh, I liked this picture here so I'm going to drag it and drop it now as you can see what, what I just did there was I double clicked on the photo so you can see everything and you can drag the picture back and forth right so I like this setting because for a couple of reasons when you're picking pictures to kind of quote unquote finesse you want to make sure that the picture has something for the model to stand on where it would look realistic where the model is standing so what this picture has that I liked is that it had plenty of sand so it would look like she was actually standing on the beach versus let me show you a picture like like this I wouldn't necessarily do this technique with a picture like this because it's just water <laughs> so I mean unless your model is Jesus like I highly doubt that she's gonna be standing on water so you want to make it to where it would be like a believable type of photo shoot so I always try to pick photos that have land on them and the model has space to actually stand in the space right the other thing I like about this is that because this is a wide shot you noticed I picked 
a um a landscape view right so it's long from left to right versus something like this right where it's only this like i don't really have a lot of space here so even though it's good as far as it having some sand some space for the model to stand on i don't really have a lot of room as far as like where i want to place the model so i'm pretty uh selective about which ones i choose be for that reason so anyway i want to drag and drop this back in here now I'm going to go into I have folders where I have uh, stock pictures of models that I've uploaded into Canva. You can just upload your photos. And so let me just do um, this picture, for example. So I'm going to uh, basically I have my photo. I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to go to background remover. I say this in almost every video because I use the background remover so much. But this is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can click the you can click the link in my description box and um, you can get Canva Pro for free for 30 days on me. So um, try it out or use it for whatever you need to use it for. If you need to cancel later, cancel. But I find that a lot of people get Canva and they don't cancel because they see that they can do so much in it. Um, and it's worth it to pay a little bit extra f just for uh, to me just for background remover and alone so anyway so we have her removed from the background now what i'm going to do with this particular shot i think i want her more on the beach so i'm gonna i want a little bit of this like the chairs and stuff showing so it'll kind of show like oh maybe she's lounging maybe she took a picture by the chairs or whatever so i'm going to place her here and i'm just going to make her a little bit larger Okay, so I have her a little bit bigger. And a lot of people would stop here because this looks this looks I like it's not it's not horrible, it's not bad. But I'm someone because I pay attention to shadows. And if somebody's standing on some sand, it's gonna be some shadows or something there, right? So again, let's go back to our elements and let's search for what? Shadows. And then what you want to click on is graphics and I use the one that's right here I just click the first one and you see it's just like this little disk right of shadow so I'm gonna resize it and I'm just gonna place it like right underneath the model and kind of like angle it a little bit to where it looks like it's kind of like at the same angle she's standing in right just to put and then I'm gonna position it backwards okay so you see there's a little shadow there you can even go further by grabbing that shadow again and making it even smaller right and you can put that shadow right there next to her feet and also place that one backwards and then kind of like maybe bring it down a little bit so it's some shadow around her foot it just looks a little bit more realistic okay so that's it you can use this picture for your store like your product photography when you're listing your product this will look really good this will give you that like fashion nova type of feel to your website because if you go on to their website a lot of times you notice like they don't have the pictures that are like this on the main page that are like um these type of um stock photos like the studio shoots where it's just basically the model in a kind of a bland background most of the time with like a website like that they always have the model in some sort of setting you know wherever they did the photo shoot at right and so to kind of make your website come alive this is what you can do okay so that's what i did here that's basically what i did like I did the same thing here so you see this is the same shot but all I did is like double click the background and I moved the model or moved the background around for each shoot so it kind of looked like the model was like standing in different spots but on the same beach you get what I'm saying so it's like giving the vibes that she is there because it's like oh it kind of looks like the same shot it's the same backgrounds but she's standing in different places right so that's what I did for this so once you have your photos so i did that now you can do this for anything if you wanted to for example like let's say i wanted to make this a banner by itself i can resize this 
and make the width like 2000 i always do my banners like 2000 by 1000 i love that size so let's say i uh um uh copy this and resize it okay so now i have the model on the the whole entire beach right so you could do something like this where it looks like maybe two models or something like that are on set so i have another model here and you can take her out the background you can remove the background here and apply and then you can put this model sometimes they'll do this where the models are kind of like close together and looks like they're like hanging out or something like that you can do whatever you want to you can place your models wherever you want to on the photo but and in her case like she's really tall actually so i'm gonna resize her and maybe make her look like because you can do things with the positioning and make the model seem like they're in the distance you can even do stuff like this where one model is closer or appears to be closer and one model is like further back and then i have the i still have the uh, shadows here from the previous model i can just resize those shadows under her right and do something like that right so you could even do that to where you have like a whole banner size and it looks like you have multiple models um doing or in this shot right you could do something like that so that's an option the other thing i did was i did um squ a square shoot so i did the same thing but i did it on a square um because it just depends on how you're going to use your photos but you can use this in different sizes and you kind of see like this one was actually a free picture that i did this on so you could do something like that okay so again this looks like she's further back and this looks like she's closer right so it kind of looks like we've had a photo shoot so now you guys kind of get the idea of how you can kind of finesse these pictures and it doesn't matter where you're at i can actually show you um an example of a model on a completely different setting so i did i did this model here I did the same thing with her okay but in a different setting um you see i i put her in this space and this was the original picture that's the original photo and i put her in a different background looks like she's at at the house and she had a photo shoot inside a very you know nice home so you can do this you can put your models anywhere you want to um to come up with this effect no matter what kind of vibe you're going for you really just have to find a nice background like i said i um i would suggest a wide shot like a landscape view type of photo that's wide like this so you have more flexibility so okay so now that we have our pictures so basically you do this faux shoot or whatever you have your pictures like this maybe you do like i said like the square photos you get your pictures download all of your photos right download our photos and then we are going to bring those pictures into canva right and i've created these banners if you guys want a tutorial on how i did this banner let me know because this video is really more so how to fake a photo shoot and how you can bring those pictures into maybe some templates that you have or banners you've created right so anyway i want to show you the difference in how these things look so this is what your website would probably look like if you just use your top your stock photos as is and there's nothing wrong with this but it it can look a little bland sometimes when you don't have any kind of background this is what the same design looks like with the mock photo shoot or fake photo shoot pictures right it looks more alive and and uh just bright and awake and just it looks to me it catches the eye more than than this one 
right? This is kind of standard, still looks nice, but this one, I, in my personal opinion, I feel like it's doing a little bit more. So all you do for something like this is you just drag and drop. So now that you have your pictures, um, you're really flexible. All you got to do with Canva when you have a good template is you just start dragging your pictures in the in the place. So like I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do that one and maybe this one here. Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm gonna go back into elements. I'm gonna use that picture of the beach that I've been using. I'm gonna put that there actually going to flip it around so I can actually see the little uh, chairs and the umbrella um, and or like the little awning cover and then I'm going to come back into my photos here of the models and I'm going to grab this picture which is the stock photo Again, I'm going to remove the background okay and do something like this. I think I originally had it like this where I made the model bigger and kind of placed her like something like this, All right? And if you shop on Fashion Nova, you know that they always do banners that are very similar to this, right? So boom, so now that's banner number one. Now this, I kind of mocked up what your product photography would look like if you did this technique with your product photography. So your products would look really good. Like this. You see what I'm saying? Like they look really, really nice. So your products are being displayed instead of on that, you know, standard background. And then I'm gonna use some of the square ones instead of like these where it's really tight. Like, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this where sometimes you drop stuff into Canva and things are getting cut off that you might not want to get cut off. You can do some of these wider angles to show off these photos um, and get more of your background. So I like using the square shots to show more of the setting where I have the model, if that makes sense. So you see more of you know you see more of her background here than you did in the other photos so when you do the product photography is really tight and the purpose of product photography is to show off the product this shows off the product too but it also shows off a little bit more of the background and the setting and all that kind of stuff so that's why i like doing some of those more like square shots to give like a wider angle so that's pretty much it like that's how you can like edit your um, photos or fake a photo shoot for um, pretty inexpensive. So hopefully you guys have found these tips helpful. Um, I am going to give away this template um, for free. So I will have a link below. The only thing I'm gonna need from you is your name and email address, and that's it. And you can get this template for free. And this template is versatile and it's gonna give you that Fashion Nova-ish type vibe to your website. As you see, it's very, very easy to modify. You can easily change your fonts and all that kind of stuff in here. Um, so yeah, you get everything. This is just mocking up your products, but you can use this as a banner if you want to and just change your text here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Again, if you want to sign up for Canva, uh, link is below. If you uh, want to sign up for Shopify, I also have a 14-day free trial where you can sign up below um, as well. And then I have links to my store if you are interested in more banners like this. Like, I have a humongous selection. Like, humongous. I'm almost at 400 products. So I guarantee you, I have something. I have animated flyers. I have web banners. I have full website, cute site templates. Uh, everything, just <laughs> thank you card templates and business card templates and like paying tag templates, everything that you can think of to kind of get you going, Instagram content, all that. So hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.